Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4 Heavy Weapons Only. I'm Super Twonky. And yeah, last time we got a lot of progress made as far as settlements go here in the northeast section of the map. We got the Slog, Coastal Cottage, and Finch Farm. We've set up a settlement beacon here, and I'm just now noticing that we've got a couple new settlers showing up. So. One of them's already... Actually, it looks like they both auto-assigned to the food. But I'm going to make one of them another provisioner. So, let's see. I'm going to move you... To... Move this guy to the slog, because I think I have more resources there to support more settlers. And then... We'll get, make them a supply line between the slog and finch farm. And then this person. We'll move them to Green Top. And we'll set them as a supply line to the slog. So if I look at my map, we've got this set up right now. And then at some point, I guess we can connect the slog to Coastal Cottage just to access the resources there. I'm not sure if I want any actual settlers at Coastal Cottage. But, I don't know. We'll see. So now, I think what I want to do... Better than it was. Is... I'm going to build a few crafting stations here and just see if there's anything I can make. Okay, so I started trying to make something here. I kind of wanted this little, like, broken house to just be a little bit of a workshop. But I wanted some sort of, like, covering over it. But I ran out of concrete. And so now we've just got this monstrosity here. Uh, I'll do something with it later. <laughs> but for now, I just made some, like, great Ben Tats. Uh, one Psycho Buff and one Buff Tats. Because that's all I really had available to me. And I think what we're going to do now is head over to... Let's see, there's a few places we can go. So, I definitely need to get to mass fusion today for the strength bobblehead but since we're right here in the area let's just pop over to Reed Marina real quick and we can get the science magazine from over there not sure if I want to tango with the super mutants here there's not really any reason for me to take down this Smirelurk though And maybe get some eggs. Seven harpoons. Alright, the harpoons lately have just been crazy. Get how many we've been getting. Keep your cool. Got it? Also, I figure I should point out this is one thing I missed during the YOLO run is this building over here has an antifreeze bottle so oh and some adhesive too all right so Reap Marina I think it's this building over here We'll probably spawn a random encounter near the super mutants. If I can, like I mentioned before, I'll just try to avoid them. I don't think the suicider would kill me with the explosive shielding, but I'd rather not test it if I don't have to. Here we are. And there are a few blood bugs around this area, too. We'll grab those coffee cups. And fertilizer. Alright. Now let's see if I can find the actual entrance. Here we go.
You know, if you talk with these robots... Hello, Your brother, oh, I'm over-encumbered. Oh boy. He's already telling me about the surprise. Which I think prompts them to kill you. Or, or go hostile. Yeah. Hmm. Good day to you. Well, this could get dicey. Let's just see if we can find the magazine. I'll grab the ceramic too. I think the magazine is it in here? Um, yep, there it is. Okay. So if you don't engage with them, they don't mistake you for Eugene and uh, try to kill you. So, cool. Got the magazine. Let's get out of here. Alright, storing my junk at the workbench. And now let's head down the road. And we're gonna go to... Probably good neighbor first, maybe do some bartering. And then over to Mass Fusion. We were able to just head through Haymarket Hall, because we already had cleared that out. And yeah, let's talk to uh, Cleo. Alright, just bought a few cryo cells off her. Got rid of some of the ammo I'm not using. And yeah, to Mass Fusion. Hey, mutant. Let's take him out. Let's take out these guys, too. Wait a minute. Uh, what are these guys doing here? <laughs> Get him, Preston! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too thrilled about Preston going through my flamer fuel, but it is pretty, it is pretty cool seeing him wield it. Just not sure where those ghouls came from. I guess there's a random encounter point over here. Oh, that must be, I'm guessing that's Hadrian. Oh no, it's just a gunner. Huh. Oh. And these gunners aggroed on us. Dang it. Come on, guys. Alright. Cry later. Seven missiles. Alright. I'll see how long I can carry those with me. <laughs> okay, and I, I am not getting notifications, so I think I'm just gonna have to quit and reload the game. Okay, we're back. Now that's one of the more annoying bugs you can run into, where the notifications start showing up. Things like telling you if you're hungry or thirsty. So, definitely want those. Alright, let's go in. So. This one's gotta be waking up. We'll take them out. Preston just like one shot someone? Hold up. Oh no. Hey. I can't see. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Ah, oh, dang it. 
There we go. I should really just be using the cryo later more often. Yes. What a mess. I think those, uh, I think those missiles are wearing me down already. Alright, let's just store them. Nice. Gunner's aware of us now. Wonder if they'll come around the corner. Yep. Dang it, I hadn't reloaded. have to look out for the one with the missile launcher. I think it might be that one back there. Question is, do I want to risk using harpoons on them or go? I feel like Cryolator is probably more of a sure thing. Yeah. I'm hoping that was the missile launcher one. Maybe it's this one. Dang it, all those missed. That's not good. Alright, just gonna chill here until we can go back to hidden. Because I really... Not only do I not want to get hit by a missile, I'd rather be able to loot all the missiles off of that guy than grab the launcher myself. Okay, we're back in hidden. Guys, right over there. Let's see how far he gets. If we can get him on his way back, I think that's ideal. He's not coming all the way here, is he? Almost seems that way. There we go. Yay! See if we can use this to take down some of these gunners. Like there's one over there, right? Might actually be too risky. Cryolator should. Yeah, let's just use the cryolator here. Seems like the better option. One more over here. There you are. I think I got something over here. Is 
Sweet. There we go. <laughs> Little bit of overkill. Wait. Wait. Out there. Oh. oh. Alright. And then let's take out the commander up here. Like Preston fell down. We'll go. We'll go revive him in a bit. I guess we should probably loot this guy's armor. Oh, that noise, though. Holy crap. And we got one of the harpoons back. Let's see. Well, first, before we do any more looting, let's get what we came here for. Which is... The Strength Bobblehead. Hell yeah. And that allows me to use my level ups. Because I'm going to be getting... Strong back. And strong deck rank too. So we can carry even more stuff. Like this mini nuke. Alright, and then yeah, I'm just gonna finish looting the place and then we'll go revive Preston. Oh, that's better. Oh, you fell down the elevator shaft. Crazy. Okay, finished looting the place. And yeah, we're gonna go and take off. We got the strength wobblehead and a couple ranks of strong back. Feeling pretty good about that. Super mutant down the way. Just a couple basic ones, nothing really to worry about. Oh, uh, what do we want to do now? I think I want to go over to the Cambridge Police Station and help out Paladin Dance. But first I'm gonna stop by Hangman's Alley, because I've got a bunch of stuff to drop off and break down. And the dog we killed a few episodes is still here. He's got four harpoons on him. And we're back at Hangman's Alley, so I'm just gonna grab some of the stuff off of Preston that he doesn't really need to be carrying. We had some weapons from Mass Fusion that had some nice mods on them, so I'll uh, break those down. And yeah, once we regroup, we'll head up toward Cambridge. I might go back to Sanctuary and maybe redo my loadout a little bit. I don't know, just re-examine what weapons I'm going to be using. Because I've been using the Harpoon Gun with the Cryolator for a little while now. Might be nice to mix things up. So... Yeah, next time you see me, it'll either be probably a Sanctuary or Cambridge. So we've got gunners here. Normally that means they're going to be fighting Children of Adam. But uh, let's just see if we can take him down on our way back to Sanctuary.
Preston's just going ham. There we go. Yeah, I can hear the gamma guns. I feel like they won't be super effective against me in power armor. Guess we'll find out. At least one more. There you are. And somehow my harpoons got stuck in midair. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's go and press them. <laughs> Doing all the dirty work while I check out the uh, hovering harpoons. Yeah, these gamma guns are great for selling. And that guy had some decent gear on him. Guess while we're here, let's send Ashes back home. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Because that's how cats work. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going back up to uh, Sanctuary, I think. I went ahead and built a settlement beacon here at Sanctuary, so we can get some more supply lines going. And with those supply lines set up, I'm able to upgrade the T-51 to Model E. So I think I'm actually going to use these for myself. Just because the legs are probably the most important part because of the calibrated shocks. So making sure that they have the most health that they can I think will be really good. And then... I think I might do the same thing with the torso. So kind of a mix and match, which isn't always great, but it's going to be the most effective for now. Not the prettiest thing, but it'll have to do. Okay, and at this point, I've actually collected over 2,500 rounds of 5mm ammo, so... And the harpoon gun, while it's good, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's a little clunky to use, so I kind of want to try, I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go with the minigun, the cryolator, and the sergeant ash as uh, my main weapons for now. And since I have the extra carry weight from a strong back, it's not too big of a deal to have those with me. So, yeah. I think that should be good. And we can head on down to talk to Paladin Dance. Uh, 
I decided to uh, head down to Abernathy to build some defenses. Looks like it's a good thing I did, because there's a full-on battle going on here. Wow, there are so many gunners. You got this, Connie. Maybe not. Oh, I almost shot her. There we go. This is a little crazy. Oh, that's a gunner right there. Holy crap. That is not what I expected to find. Well, good thing I showed up. Oh, did they kill? Ah, oh, they killed Clarabelle. Dang, that really sucks. Alright, Lucy, I think you... Looks like you're dealing with this. Okay. Let me just move that out of the way for you. Yeah, it's gonna put some turrets up here on the roof. Hopefully that will help with any further attacks. I guess we'll keep heading on our way. So we'll take out some red stag. Tag, because that's going to be super useful. And one thing I figured we could do on our way down is clear out uh, the Starlight Drive-In, because that is an objective that we have. Let me just make sure I have that on my assigned quests. And, alright, Bottle Cat Mine is over there. There's a mole rat. Hey, Mullerat. I, I think I might just gun bash these guys. Maybe not the rapid one. You got this, Preston? Hey, right, good job. Yeah, pretty easy. And we'll just scrap everything here and build the beacon. I do need to watch out for that bottle cap mine over there. Alright, and we'll take care of the rad roach right here. Check out what's in this lock. That's it. Not a whole lot. <laughs> I took care of the... I took care of the bottle cap mine just by shooting it because I... I don't know. I didn't totally trust myself to be able to disarm it without flubbing things up. I probably would have been fine, but just being 
Overcautious. Hey, go ahead. What now? We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. What? Oh, okay. He just assigned me another quest. Um, I was kind of hoping to get Preston Garvey up to maximum affinity, but yeah, he'll still. There's still one more thing that I can do that he'll like during the um, quest with Paladin Dance. So I'll keep him around until then at least. And then if I'm not at max, it's no problem because I think once you retake the castle, that's something that he loves too. So that's a one more chance to gain affinity. So hopefully we can locate these settlers soon. Here they are. All right, let's assign you as a supply line to Abernathy Farm. And then you can be a supply line to Hangman's Alley. And actually, this guy, I think I'm going to move this guy to Abernathy and then have him as a supply line going here. That seems good. So now, uh, yeah, everything's connected now. Well, everything except Sunshine Tidings. But that's fine. We can build an actual generator here and get more water. And then let's also build some defenses and then head out. But before we leave, I think I am going to sleep because I am tired. So, I built some beds here. We can take care of that. And it's also time to level up. So, what do I want at level 28? There's science, which becomes available to me. I don't know how much I actually get out of that right now, though. I'm wondering if I should do gun nut instead. So I think that does unlock some more mods for the minigun. Um, here, let me just double check. Okay, I really want the tri-barrel. That actually requires a gun nut 4. Uh, we can get the gunner sight, though. So I think I might do that as it improves accuracy. So yeah, not sure if gun nuts really worth it at the moment. I think maybe we just do science. Which in that case, let me see if there are any upgrades I can make to my power armor. Yeah, I think I'll get the motion assisted servos, just increase my strength for even more carry weight. This thing is good. Let's charge in and take on some ghouls. Oh yeah. We 
Good idea. Thought I almost shot Dance. Appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Seems more than reasonable, if you really want our help. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors. Sure. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep mm -hmm. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, mm -hmm. and we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Uh, this is just a fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. Uh -huh. So, what do you say? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. All right. Finish up fire support. And let's go on to Arctic. Six more missiles. <laughs> uh, probably will end up dropping them, but I'll pick them up for now. Ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. We'll take this alley. Follow me. Arc Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. Getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Good us go, man. The three amigos. All in power armor. I guess maybe I should have, like, doctored up some of the broken T-45 pieces I had and given them to Preston. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to save these settlers. But we can avenge them.
despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. And blowflies, I think the flamer's probably the best option for them. <laughs> probably the same thing for the mongrels up ahead. Pretty tough. Here we are, at Arcjet. Let's take care of business here. The, uh, the password to reset here, and then it's gonna be go time. Very good. Hold up. I think we're being stalked. Is someone present? Hello. Let's just get that gas there taken care of first. Dance has kind of gone on ahead. Alright, good job, Dance. And there aren't any enemies right here, so I'm going to use this opportunity to break down some of the weapons I've picked up. Under the stairs, more loot. Yes. Sounds like Dance is having a good time going up on ahead without us. And here we go, Tesla Science. Excellent. This is the third one I think we've gotten. some help.
Looks like the power is out in this section. Okay. Let's go ahead and blow that up preemptively. And hey, the junk jet. Excellent. I'm not sure how much I will use this, but since it is a heavy weapon, I'll I guess I'll give it a go. We're not gonna make very good time with you, so load it down. I am over encumbered at the moment. Maybe I should Eat a grilled red stag. Nice. Let's start the power. Engine core power restored. And let's go help dance with these uh, synths. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Just a few more to kill. Finish looting the place, and we're heading out. Going up. Thankfully, this elevator is uh, not over capacity with the three of us all here in our power armor. thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, mm -hmm. I think you'll find this weapon useful. Uh -huh. May it serve you well in battle. Oh, we got the righteous authority, which we can't use, but it's a cool weapon. That isn't necessary. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter goes, sure. we had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel. So, what do you say? No. I need to move on. The Minutemen need you more than the Brotherhood ever will. That's a shame. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Good luck to you. All right. And Preston is really close to 100%. Um, yeah, I think we need to head back to a settlement to uh, take care of all the inventory. Probably Hangman's Alley.
Okay, so the junk jet. I guess let's give it the long barrel. And a recoil compensating stock. Gunner sight. Improved accuracy, sure. And then uh, we need higher ranks of gun nut to do either of the muzzles. But uh, yeah, perhaps we'll use that. Not totally sure. And yeah, I'm just going to finish up with some inventory management here. I uh, built another power armor station, so I'll probably be fixing up uh, Preston's power armor and making sure mine's in good repair as well. But yeah, that's probably all going to be done off camera. And that should do it for today. So yeah, hope you had fun with this one. I've been really enjoying playing this series. So join me next time where, yeah, there's a few things we can do. I'm not totally sure. We'll either continue with the main quest or possibly help Preston at the castle. Uh, who knows? But until then, have a good one. Peace.